welcome to my channel as you know or you may not know i am mia lachey um excuse the pain on my hand i am mia lachey i am a full-time specialist in training right now i am in the nail half of my training so i wanted to start a channel for my nail experience um i have done a few sets before so i pretty much know what i'm doing there are a few things i need to work on so um i just wanted to start a channel to maybe help someone who is just starting nails especially in this quarantine um people are starting to take on their own you know hobbies but um yeah, so I just wanted to bring you guys along with me as I go through this nail journey. And yeah, I'm really excited and I will be doing a question and answer video in my next upload. So if you have any questions, um, if you go through this video and you, you have any questions or if you want to know anything about me, um, please comment them down below and I will answer them in my next video. But today, um, my first upload is going to be on the Melody Susie Scarlet Nail Drill. Um, I've honestly already used this before and I really love it, but I wanted to incorporate this in my first video because, um, you know, like I said, a lot of people are taking on nails um, during this quarantine and this was really affordable and you can order off Amazon so I you know wanted you guys to see my opinion on it to see if you should get it or not um, so yeah if you want to know my opinion then just keep watching but before we get started make sure you subscribe this is a new channel so I'm going to need you guys to support and sharing this channel and you know being active subscribers and you know helping me be successful so yeah let me stop rambling and let's get into this nail drill okay so this is um, the package that it came in um, it actually had an Amazon box um, bag wrapped around it like a bubble wrap envelope thing um, but yeah this is the box and then when you open it it has these pamphlets so a user manual 20% um, off different nail bits and I don't know what this is oh basically like a welcome and information card um, disclaimer before we even get started like I said I already used this to take off some of my nails so this this piece came in a box so whenever you get yours it this piece um, in particular will come in a box wrapped in bubble wrap but um, this is the hand piece is very slim sleek and cute um, I, I love this I love how it works um, and then this is the foot pedal I believe this also came in a little bag but I took it off this is the motor that's how it looks they gave me some extra um, sanding bands here are the bits that it comes with like I said I already used it so that one is already on there but normally when you order it um, that won't be on there it'll be up here and here is the power cord and this you know came wrapped up like this one this is the on and off button when you have it plugged in the light will um, it, this will light up so that you know it's on this is the knob for the different um, RPMs. This is um, a hole to where you can rest your handpiece in, which is very convenient. Here are some um, holes to put your drill bits in, which is also very convenient. 
Here on the back is the forward and reverse switch. So if you're right-handed, you would use forward. If you're left-handed, you would use uh, reverse. Or if you wanna go the opposite way, you'd use reverse. Um, this is for the foot pedal, which I will not be using. This is for the motor, basically the hand piece. So you just put that in there. It even has a little arrow on it to show you. And then this hole is for the power cord. So let me plug her up and we'll turn her on. So this comes with a, a safety bit in it. So uh, no dust or anything will get in it. Um, to release it, you turn it left till it clicks. It even has a little indicator on there. I don't know if you guys can see. But there's an unlock button here and a lock button here. And there's also a little dot on the part that you rotate so that you know which one it is on. So when you, boom. So I'm going to remove these nails for y'all. So I'm going to take this one. So just so you guys can hear um, how loud and not loud it is, it is now on. Wait, it's now on. Hopefully you guys saw the light come on. So I'm just going to do 3,000. It's very silent. I'm gonna go up to 5,000. A little bit louder but not too bad and the vibration isn't bad at all it's actually quite unnoticeable at 5,000 now 10 it does get a little bit louder but it's not unbearable and the vibration is the same as well Fifteen. Now here it is a little loud. Um, you can definitely hear the air coming out of the ventilation holes right here, but I'd rather you hear the air um, than it get hot and um, overheat and cause discomfort on yourself or a client. This is honestly, this is a scary speed. Like it just sounds very painful. I haven't used it this high yet, but it just it sounds scary and intimidating. But that's 20. It's a little bit louder. The vibration is still it's most definitely there, but it's still bearable. Twenty-five. And then honestly, once you go up to 30, it's about the same volume as it is at 25. But still, the vibration is not bad at all. And the, uh, the loudness of it is not too bad either. Now, I'm going to show you guys the drill I was using before that I got in my school kit. That one, I'm going to just let y'all see. So this is the one I got in my uh, school kit. As you can already tell, it's already a lot fatter and it only has one um, speed, which is 12,000 RPM. So there's no changing the speed, it's just all one speed. So now I have used this one, so I know that it's absolute trash but just imagine how grateful I was to get this. So just even by the handles, it's a lot, this one is a lot more convenient and just easier to work with. Um, it's a lot slimmer, so it's not, you know, 
Like this one is short and stubbies. Like no, no one wants to hold this for, you know, a long time. Now this one, I'm not even gonna put a drill bit in because I just want you guys to hear how loud it is. Now this is 12,000 compared to this 12,000. Okay. Maybe I should have took it out first. Um, so this is about 12,000 RPMs on here. I would prefer this a lot more than this. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to hear the difference um, from a horrible nail file to one that's good. So here I am removing some of the acrylic using the mandrel and sanding band. Um, initially I was going to just remove some of, well remove most of the product and just soak my nails in acetone but I didn't feel like waiting because I was already waiting to do a full set um, using this drill but I didn't want to get the process on camera for you guys so you can um, learn more about the nail drill so I just um, removed some of the product and um, like popped them off with the needle bit here I'm honestly um, this is really unnecessary I was just playing around with the drill because um, you know seeing the drill that I was using before and you know coming to this awesome nail drill um i just wanted to play around with it and i don't know i was just doing something here but um i am going to remove this bit and use the needle bit to um like go around the cuticle area to um easily pop these nails off now, normally you would not do this to take your nails off. It's not the proper way to take your nails off. But like I said, I didn't feel like soaking my nails in acetone. So I just did this. Okay, so I am going to be doing a voiceover while I actually do my nails, but before we get started, I want to show you guys some of the things that I am going to be using in this video. Uh, most of the things came in my kit, but some of them didn't, so I'm just going to um, show you them. I'm going to be using these clear tips I got from my local nail supply. Um, if you're in Tampa, I got them from LA Nails. That's what they look like. Well, that's what the logo looks like. I'm gonna be using those tips. I'm gonna be using the glossy top coat by American Nails. I got this little set from Amazon. It actually just came today, so I'm really excited to use this and try to work on my stone placement. Um, I don't know which acrylics I'm gonna do because I don't know what design I'm gonna do but this is the pinker pink and clear by N Novu nails I don't know how to pronounce that but that is what that is the um, acrylic powders or I might be using the these colors by glammy glitz this one is Heat Wave, and this one is Nova. They're both, um, well, this one is kind of shimmery. It has like a gold shimmer, and it's like a mauve pink kind of color. This one is clear, and it has some um, like iridescent glitters in it. Very pretty. I'm going to be using the Young Nails 
protein bond. The Novu Nails uh, Primer. I have the Novu Nails Nail Liquid or Monomer. These uh, 3D charms I got off of Amazon. I will link these specific ones down below. I may also be using these stones that I got from Michaels. They are um, Swarovski crystals and they came in the little packs. Um, you can get them for $10 or just a little tip. If you guys do go to Michaels to get your stones, um, Michaels more than likely always has a coupon for 40 or 50% off. Same thing with Joann's. Um, so you can use that to get these because I know $10 is a lot for that little pack. But um, yeah, they always have a coupon. And if you're at Michaels but you have a Joann's coupon, you can also use the Joann's one at Michaels and vice versa. I may also be using these iridescent flakes that I also got. Um, I actually got these at Joann's. They were about $2 for a really big pack. Here I am using a cuticle pusher to push back my cuticles. Um, you want to do this as the first step in your prep. So push the cuticles back and then use the cuticle nipper to clip off the dead skin. When you are clipping off um, the dead skin, make sure you're being very, very, very careful, especially if you're using a cuticle nipper because you can clip um, skin that is not dead and you'll start bleeding, which is what I did. But when that happens, make sure you have a um, hospital grade um, disinfectant to, um, you know, disinfect. Um, here I am using the safety bit to go around my cuticle and remove the dead skin um, on my nail plate um, before I actually cut the dead skin off. And when you're using this bit, you want to use it at a low speed. You don't want to go in, you know, too heavy and... Uh, make any dents or anything so just go around the cuticle and then I actually went over my entire nail plate um, very softly to um, get rid of the shine So I don't actually have like one of those like actual duster brushes so I just use a fluffy makeup brush but like I said when you're doing this you want to be super 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 careful and I already um, like chose my nail sizes um, off camera when you are choosing your nail sizes make sure that they fit the um the tip fits on both sides you don't want something that's too big or too small because that thing that can cause lifting and when you're gluing your tips on make sure that it's straight um if you do end up making it a little cricket just fix it when you're shaping and it should be fine but to avoid having to finesse like that, just um, try your best to make sure that the tip is straight. And this is a little complicated doing it on yourself because, you know, a, a client's hand wouldn't be in the position that your hand is in. But, you know, 
please excuse my blood that is so embarrassing but i did not want to stop recording but um please excuse me. if you have like a blood phobia or something i am so sorry but everybody bleeds sorry <laughs> I tried not to show like me actually working on that finger. I try not to show me like actually working on that finger. So hopefully it's not too bad for y'all. I am applying my tips I do squeeze the tips a little bit so that it's um, like round and actually fits the shape of my nail so I don't know if you uh, would find that necessary but that is something that I do I saw I saw a reference picture on uh, I think it was Instagram of the shape that I wanted which was like an almond shape uh, more almond than stiletto so I shaped it like that now I am laying my acrylic um, when you are working with acrylic you want a brush um, that is on the wider side this brush is a number eight I do have a number 10, but um, it needs to be pinched um, so that it can be flat and I can't get it pinched until my nail supply store opens back, which I don't know when it will be, but hopefully it's soon. So initially I was going to try to do the, um, I don't even know what it's like officially called, but you guys can see what I'm trying to do and I actually changed the design of it because it wasn't looking right with the clear and the pink. Um, it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I changed it to like this marble effect type of deal and I actually didn't get that part on camera because my camera stopped recording and this angle is really bad. But this is me just filing the nails, um, going around the cuticle and um, debulking any um, bigger beads that I didn't blend in all the way. So here you can see how my actual um, acrylic um, came out. I did put the iridescent pieces into nails and marble onto nails. Here is my um, stone placement. I will do a separate video of this if you guys want me to. Um, just because I really want to focus on, you know, stone placement because that's actually a really, um, a really important thing to perfect. Um, you could do like I did and just look up Instagram, um, like inspo and try to go based off of those pictures. But I put a, um a zoomed in picture of the actual nail that I did because I know it's kind of choppy. 
I initially recorded this in time lapse so that I can get everything and then I just slowed it down so I'm sorry it looks so choppy like this but at least you guys can actually see what I'm doing so the bigger pieces I cured first so that they wouldn't move and I am using a builder gel to put these stones on so that they actually stay and um I like to use a lot of builder gel because I don't want the stones to go anywhere so I'd rather use a lot and have them stay than like use a little bit and risk risk them coming off so the only downside in doing that is when um when you're working with them they the stones can move so just make sure that they are in the right place uh before you cure it because once you cure it you can't move it um especially with the bigger ones um those can be quite annoying but I think this was my favorite part of doing the nails because I love bling and I love shiny stuff. So this is definitely my favorite set and this was definitely my favorite part. It was just a little, it was very time consuming. Um, I stayed up until like 2 a.m. doing these nails. So it took me about six hours to do this whole process. Um, and I think um it's it was most definitely because of you know all of these stones i don't even have to think it was most definitely because of the stones but they came out really 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 gorgeous and i'm very proud of myself so hopefully you guys like them hopefully you like this video here i'm applying some cuticle oil um hopefully you like this video if you do definitely give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe um and share this video with your friends please follow my instagram i will have it on the screen and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to comment any questions you want me to answer for my next upload stay sweet and stay blessed bye guys